morning, let's look at 287. Still looking pretty good. Just beginning to build now northbound between the Turnpike and Exit 4 and again near right, Easton Avenue. In Raritan Township, south on 202 at Boris Corner Road. All lanes are closed. It's a very serious accident. Follow the police detour. Also in Perth Amboy, State Street at Hall Avenue, an accident cleared. If you...
Good uh, morning. Uh, the, the clown is new and exciting. That we've never had before. Um, where's the pirate? The pirate we've never, we've never had before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know how many promotional vehicles you're, you're bringing in? We're only uh, these, these guys. Are Try to make it life easy. I appreciate that. If everyone else uh, felt the same way. I'd. Uh, yeah, you'd have an easy day. <laughs> you'd be a lot calmer. Peter Frampton and Baby I Love Your Way, Magic 98.3, Soft Rock Variety with Chris McCoy, where today we are very happy to be back here. It's the 27th Annual Quick Check New Jersey Festival of Ballooning, and I have with me the man who makes it all happen and who is here from day one, Howard Freeman. Hello, Howard. Hey, how you doing today? Thanks for coming out. No, well, thank you. This is, uh, this is quite incredible, and the balloons are launching as we speak. Absolutely, you're experiencing love at first flight here. I like, I like that. Executive producer of the festival, and you have sort of like a, a nickname title too. What do they call you, the director of hot air? Doctor of hot air, Doctor sir, of please. hot air, I'm sorry. You know, I was a biology major, my mother always wanted me to be a doctor, and she's so proud. Now tell me something, Howard. First of all, I got to tell you, this balloon here looks like a golf ball on a tee. Right. Aren't you just dying to grab the driver and just give it a whack? You know, I saw Ed Silver out before hitting that golf ball. <laughs> that ball will goes a long way and it will never get lost in the tall grass. That's true. You can always find that ball, unfortunately for Ed. Uh, <laughs> so tell me, tell us about this. This, uh, this little town of Reddington just uh, sort of like increases to uh, uh, like a what a fourth largest city in the it world actually the third of, <laughs> something like that or the third or fourth biggest city in new jersey and the only one that's not corrupt from what i hear about the ah. news lately <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're expecting about 150 to 175,000 of our closest lunatic friends. Mm -hmm. You know, pilots will tell you if you inflate it, they will come and you'll <laughs> see that over the weekend. You've seen that in the past. Now, uh, one of the, what's it like being up there? I mean, I'll be, I've seen pictures of you in the basket now. Is that just on the ground or are you actually... Oh, that's with a green screen. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yes, I, I go up all the time. It's the most fun you can have standing up. You know, people say it's like a magic carpet ride. It's like being in a high-rise building with the, uh, the scenery moving beneath you. So when you're out here in Reddington, there's actually a buffalo ranch not far away. You have all these beautiful estates. You have horse ranches. So just flying over the countryside is, is really a spectacular experience and one that a lot of people lately have told me is on their bucket list. Yeah, that's a, a great movie too, by the way. Thank uh, you. 
Anybody ever tell you? Uncle Morgan was in there. Everybody ever tell you? I kind of look a little bit like Robin Williams. Anybody ever say that to you? Or am I the first? I get a lot of Brad Pitt. Brad, okay. <laughs> Hold on for just a moment here. Seven forty-four. We're, we're going to come back and talk with Howard Freeman, producer of the Quick Check New Jersey Festival of Baloney. But first, let's go to Candy Roth, who has a uh, update for you. Two eighty-seven first. Jersey uh, you couldn't ha have a better weekend for a balloon festival than we've got for this weekend. Partly sunny today with a high of 85. Partly cloudy uh, tonight. Maybe a thunderstorm rolling through, but that'll be after dark. And high of, uh, low of 60 rather. And then a couple of sunny, very summer-like days, Saturday and Sunday. 90 tomorrow, about 85 on Sunday. We're at 66 here. And uh, this uh, brought to you by... Thomas and Friends Live on stage at New Brunswick State Theater July 31st and August 1st. Get great $99 four-packs for Thomas and Friends Live. Check them out at statetheaternj.org, 746. So let's get back to uh, Howard Freeman here, our guest, and the man that's making all of this happen here for the 27th uh, straight year. It's the uh, 27th annual Quick Check New Jersey Festival Ballooning. And how, where do the balloons go? Do they come back? Where do they land? They actually land throughout the countryside. They get the, there's a crew that goes along with them with a vehicle. They get permission from a landowner, a farm, a cul-de-sac, whatever, to land. They give them a bottle of champagne, which is an ancient tradition. Then they have a little ceremony, and then they come back here and get ready for the uh, 6.30 at night ascension. Wow. The balloons that, go up at 6.30 in the morning and 6.30 at night because that's when the winds are the calmest. Okay. Now, that makes sense. Now, I, I, they go up in a staggered fashion. In other words, they all can't lift off at the Well, same they time. do. We call do it a mass ascension. Um, you know, this morning we're doing it a little bit different for the media, but generally starting tonight at 6.30, it'll be a mass ascension. You know, you mentioned the golf ball before. Yeah. That's one. It's from the USGA Golf Hall of Fame. Um, in Far Hills, but there are four new balloons this year. We have pandemonium, as we call it. I think the panda, panda yeah. the great panda just took off, which is a great balloon. I see a pirate, too. There is it? a pirate, yeah. and we're not even in Pittsburgh or in Kansas, Toto. Uh, we also have a clown. When, you know, when they say, hey, there's a clown waiting to talk to you, it is not my staff. It actually is about an 85-foot hot air balloon. Uh -huh. um, you know, we have balloons this year from 22 different states, from three different countries, and once again from a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. We have Darth, Darth Vader. Vader is here. And then obviously the superstars, we have the world's largest balloon and the Energizer Bunny, which just keeps going and going. Couldn't help but say that. Then we have the Quick Check Fresh Farm House balloon, which right. is our signature balloon, and the PNC Salutes America flag, which is always a big hit. I'm looking, uh, I'm looking forward to talking to uh, one of the pilots of, uh, of these balloons a little later on. That is interesting too. By the way, uh, there is a website. It's uh, www.balloonfestival.com Right, and that'll give you all the different information of uh, at what time, you know, there's more than just hot air, so there's concerts and we'll talk about that. Um, the Flying Wallenders are here. You know, they will perform on a 5 8 of an inch tightrope. 5 8 of an inch, almost just a little more than half an inch, a hundred feet up in the air without a neck. I'm getting dizzy just hearing you talk about well, that. All I know is I, I have an agreement that I'll pay him on Sunday night just in case. <laughs> but I would not try that at home. Um, but yes, it's www.balloonfestival.com. Or you can call. We have operators standing by, led by Joanne, in our uh, call center at 1-800-HOT-AIR-9. They'll tell you how to get here, how beautiful the weather is, and all different things. And all you have to do is go into any quick check store, pick up some fresh coffee every 20 minutes, and pick up tickets to the festival on your way out. That's about my schedule. Fresh coffee every 20 minutes. I'll, there you I'll go. Do. Howard Freeman, thank you very much. It was thank a pleasure you. talking to you. Can we just sir? talk about the bands for a second? This yeah, is a go music ahead. station. Go ahead. You got continuous <laughs> soft rock and so do we. We've got Al Jardine from the Beach Boys. I know him. With, yeah, sure. With Dave Marks, two original Beach Boys tonight, playing all your old hits. Uh, tomorrow we have Megan Martin. You know, two years ago we had um, the Jonas Brothers. Perhaps your listeners have heard of them. Yeah, that now. was, They've yes. Last year we had Demi Martin, this year we have Megan Martin, who's another Disney superstar. Saturday night, it's going to be a celebration. Uh, cool in the game. And you know, the interesting thing is, Cool used to open for the Jackson 5. So it would not, legitimately, so it would not surprise me if they do a little tribute tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. There'll be a celebration, it'll be ladies' night. And then on Sunday we have uh, Michael McDonald. So. Great Michael ex McDonald. brother. Yeah. Michael McDonald. Oh, that's fantastic. What a lineup. So come on out, bring the kids, get here sometime this weekend. We'll talk more about this again, Howard. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Let the flight be with you. Yeah. <laughs> 749 here at Magic 98.3. We're right back. If there's anyone who can appreciate the speed of ET and G3G network, thank you. Thank you. he uses his phone to get directions. It's 
it's uh, David Cook here. Oh, yeah. Hey, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. You Oh, uh, you know, it, it's such a good song. We want to make sure we get every word in there. David Cook, and it's come back to me from Magic 98.3. Today's soft rock variety and 842 here with Chris McCoy. And as luck would have it, Candy Roth is here, and we're going to get your final look at Central Jersey traffic 287 first. How's it going? Taking good on the parkway going north across the Driscoll Bridge. Slight delay yeah, in park and again at the Union Toll. No troubles on the Turnpike. Slight delay on 78 East at exit 29. No we do New Jersey Transit far. checking yes, in on time. And this report brought to you by Hammermill Copy Plus Paper. Hammermill Copy Plus Paper is guaranteed 99.99% jam free. Buy one case. Get one free at Staples after easy rebate. It ends July 25th. Hammer Mill, no worries. That's your Central Jersey traffic. I'm Kenny Roth on Magic 98.3. Well, have a wonderful weekend, and maybe I'll uh, you know, be able to see your house from about 2,000 feet uh, from one of these Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, you gotta stand out in the backyard and wave to me, okay? Okay. See you, Candy. Bye-bye. 844 here at Magic 98.3 and Chris McCoy. And uh, if you just tuned in, we are live today from the 27th Annual Quick Check New Jersey Festival of Ballooning. And I am here with the Vice President of Sales, John Shanninger. Hello there, John. Good morning, Chris. Nice to see you. To see you. Uh, you know, one of the things uh, about uh, Quick Check, it's, uh, you know, for 40 years now, it's been a part of the fabric of our lives around here. Right? And I love the fact that you guys do this uh, fresh brewed coffee every 20 minutes. In other words, if, if you don't let the coffee sit around and get stale and nasty. Well, I mean, even out here at our great balloon festival, it's a great day. You know, balloons went up this morning, got my quick check coffee, and uh, nobody else in the country, I don't believe, does the 20 minute guarantee like we do. And so you come in any time of day, night, 2 a.m. in the morning, doesn't matter, you get 20 minute guarantee fresh coffee. I love that. I we, we throw out more coffee than the average guy sells. Yeah, so, I'm glad we're going to yeah, that is such a great idea. I'm surprised no one else has thought of it. Congratulations, first of all, on that. Now, thanks. You've been, uh, you guys have been sponsoring this uh, wonderful event for quite a while, right? Yeah, it's, it's been a, a long time. It's a great partnership, and you know we're able to come out here and, and meet 100 to 200,000 of our of our closest friends, and it, it's really become our Quick Check Family Festival every year. And uh, you know we run it, we run our tent, and we, of course we have our own Quick Check here that we built over in a couple days and you can come in and get any of our great subs or coffee or burgers and uh and we have our entertainment tent right with terrific free entertainment all weekend and we staff that with 700 of our team members that volunteer come out on their own time just to come out have fun talk to our customers and uh just enjoy themselves for a couple days yeah that, that, that's the uh the feeling of family that you guys have within the organization i think you know, everybody you know, just coming out here and volunteering time you know, this is for uh, not only for the entertainment of uh, families in uh, you know in New Jersey, uh, but it also uh, some of the money goes to uh, some very good causes like the Children's Miracle Network. Oh, absolutely! We support uh, with the Balloon Festival. We support Children's Miracle Network. We do a lot with juvenile diabetes, and you know we really believe in the Northern New Jersey market and the Hudson Valley of New York, and we build our stores one at a time and we hire local and we, we run them all ourselves and uh, you know we're all about the community and we, we you know we, we love the love the area you guys do a great job thank and you very much appreciated uh the balloon have you guys gone up yet today yeah we went up this morning yeah it was terrific do you go uh, up in the balloon looked, i've been up in the balloons yeah. quite a few times tell, yeah. tell me what that's like it's great well you know what it's like nothing you've ever done and to get up there and you know you're sitting there waiting and the fire comes up and the flame and the things and you don't realize at first that you're even moving and then you're up there and you have this gorgeous view and it's it's spectacular absolutely spectacular and even if you don't you know if if, uh, if you're, you're not quite sure you want to go up right all the way up we have tethered we could do or you can sit here and just enjoy 125 balloons from the ground that's spectacular maybe next year we should consider doing this from from down yeah. I'd, I'd love to be up there with you yeah would you okay absolutely well, that's good i'd like to go that would be fun. who knows the you know knows the ropes so to speak well if i don't know what i can make it up <laughs> john be terrific john shanninger thank you so much hey, thank you vice president of sales quick neck new jersey and uh, keep up the good work and keep that fresh coffee coming every 20 minutes love guaranteed it. it's 847 here at magic 98.3 coming right back when i was looking for a new i wanted to I 
like your shirts this year? I am not. You know what? When I'm being cold, I really didn't mean it. Oh, okay. Oh, right, they are. Better mileage than the front wheel drive. Oh, that's all. Check my outside. Taylor Swift and today's Soft Rock Variety and Chris McCoy here, Love Story 947. And just uh, want to remind you that you can enjoy the all new quarter pound Angus beef burger now being served at Quick Check, available in six great recipes. And if that's not enough, they're especially priced on Fridays. And today, that must be Friday for just $2.99. Uh, try one today, why don't you? It sounds like a good idea to me. And as we broadcast live here from the 27th Annual Quick Check New Jersey Festival of Ballooning, I finally get to the guy I've been wanting to talk to you all morning. Larry Konash is here, and Larry is a balloon meister and a balloon pilot. Now, what is a balloon meister, Larry? First oh, of all. balloon meister is someone who interfaces with the FAA, first of all, to make sure that all of the rules and regulations are followed for the flying portion of the festival. My responsibilities also include all the safety aspects of what goes on here. Uh, when you want, when you watch the balloons inflate, there's a lot of activity going on. There's an inflator fan, there's the uh, flames from the burners, and we make sure that everything happens in a, in a safe, organized way. So you're kind of like a low-tech NASA guy, right? Is that, is that, would that be a good way of putting it? Or? That's a good way of putting it, absolutely right. Now, now since you're a pilot, uh, how long have you been doing this pilot? This is my 38th year flying. Uh, I started flying actually when I was uh, 21 with airplanes and about uh, mid-80s I took my first balloon flight. Love it first flight. Sold the airplane and bought balloons. It's been balloons ever since. Yeah, I would imagine uh, once you go up you, you want to go up again and again and again. Imagine Completely hooked, very addicting. Yeah. <laughs> I have a couple of questions as uh, you know, someone who's not a professional like this like you. How high do these things go? I, I guess it depends on the ceiling and everything, the top cover. Sure, it depends on the weather, but balloons typically are fair weather aircraft. We don't fly anywhere near thunderstorms or in clouds or in rain. It's basically sunny day aircraft. So our flight is something that uh, usually takes us up to about 500 to 1,000 feet, just above the treetops. High enough where you get a beautiful view. From where we are here, we get a great view of New York City to the east, mm -hmm. Philadelphia down to the south, and the Delaware water gap off to the northwest. Oh. And it's also low enough where we can talk to people on the ground as we fly. Because the balloons are very, very quiet while they fly. So is it like that hello down there kind of thing? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, that, that's that's a really cool thing. Now, do you steer balloons or does the wind take care of that? Right. How do you get to where you want to go? That That's a great question. But to steer a balloon, what you do is we know in the general way which way the wind will take us. Like, for instance, for a beautiful flight that we had this morning out here, we uh, flew off towards Somerville to the east. And to actually steer them, if you go up a little bit, you get a little bit of right-hand turn. If you come down a little bit, you get a little bit of left-hand turn. It's all very subtle, and we use GPS to help us uh, make that accurate. But we can uh, actually, during competition, balloon competition, we can typically fly a five-mile course and hit something about the size of a swimming pool after five miles. Really? That's that's pretty neat. So you uh, actually do hit the target. Yes, actually we fly two targets. We pick launch sites, so we fly in the general direction of the target, and then use the up and down motion to get the fine tuning. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I had more time because uh, this is fascinating stuff. And you're going to be here all weekend, right? Are you uh, taking people up? Do you do that, or do you? Sure. Just, yeah. We have uh, two opportunities to experience balloon flight here over the weekend. You can purchase balloon rides and fly with us uh, with any of our 125 balloons. Uh, or we can do tethered rides right here on the field. And for a very modest sum, we can take you up and down about 100 feet. Yeah, that sounds like a nice thing. For somebody who doesn't want to really travel, it sounds like a nice thing to do, too. Larry Konesh, thank you very much. That you're the very first balloon meister and balloon pilot that I've ever spoken to. And, well, uh, thank you for the opportunity, and uh, certainly everybody come on out and see these great balloons. Absolutely. This is the place to be this weekend. We are at the Solberg Airport in Reddington. It's the 27th Annual Quick Check New Jersey Festival of Ballooning. Bring the family out, maybe even take a ride, but enjoy. 951 at Magic 98.3.